This is the unboxing for the Premium Bandai Master Grade Testament Gundam. This is the Testament Gundam from the Gundam Seed series. This is the Master Grade. And from the monochrome box, you can see that it is a Premium Bandai kit. This is a special build because this is the first viewer request I received. The viewer requested this off of one of my monthly shipment reveal videos. So if anyone would like to see me build a specific kit, please feel free to leave a comment on any video and let me know what you would like me to build and I will work it into my schedule. So since this is a premium kit, there isn't a whole lot on the box except for just different uh, parts and sizes of the cover art. So we'll just go right on into the box. So this being a master grade, we do get a master grade uh, instruction manual with all the details that are normally, well, with some of the details that are normally within a master grade. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but it seems that with the premium kits, the uh, instructions tend to be an afterthought. Um, the exception is, be, is the real grades. The real grades, you get the full manual like you would with any standard kit. But with the other ones, you know, this is high, this is master grade, so the manual is much better. But sometimes with the HG kits for the premium band diet, it, it's basically like maybe a a kind of like a fold out with no color or anything on it, just the raw uh, instructions. So I don't know why they decided to do it that way. I guess they figure it's the it's the kit itself, not the extra stuff with it that makes it premium. So this kit does come with just one color correcting sticker, which is for the eyes, which is fairly typical, and it does come with its own water slide decal so there is absolutely no need for this kit to find water slide decals from a third party because bandai provides them right in the kit so i'll put those aside and let's just go ahead and take a look at the runners So what we've got is a typical A runner, which is multiple colors. In this case, it's just two, which is black and yellow. We have a couple of B runners where some of it is duplicate. The top part, the top half is duplicate for the B2 and some other parts here, which is kind of like a almost metallic gray. It's not quite shiny, but there is a metallic injection feel to it. We then also have the D runners, and these are pretty hefty pieces. These look to be inner frame pieces. Um, I don't know that this has an actual typical master grade inner frame or not. It does say X frame, so it must have something like it, but th these are pretty hefty. Even though these are still, I believe these are still polystyrene. Yes, they are. They're PS. But they are they are a bit hefty. So this is the D. And this is the E. And then we have some just regular gray. These look like they're also part of the inner frame, but they're not as bulky and hefty as these are. So these must be true, must be more of the structural part of the kit. And these are probably just more decorations or giving places where there's slight um, color differentiation happening because this is slightly lighter gray. We've got our G runners, which are the red pieces. And, you know, there's a one and a two where the... Um, the two is a duplicate of the top part, a little bit more hanging down underneath the um, the circle. And it looks like these are armor pieces, so these are going to be the red highlights for the armor. Whoops. We have this more like a maroon red as well, which is I1 
an I2. I believe, yep, there is some, yes, there we go. There's some duplication right there. And these are also armor pieces, it looks like. So there's going to be some a kind of a two shade of red, similar to how there looks like there's going to be a two shade of gray. And we have here the H1 and the H2. Of course, one being duplicate of the of part of the H1, two being duplicate of part of H1. Um, and these are also this like the, these might be some inner frame, but it also looks like it's some inner armor pieces as well. And these are pretty much black, a little bit shiny, but not too much. Not quite matte, but not quite glossy either. And there are effect pieces, which is basically just the beam sabers. And this does come with poly caps. So these is, this is an older style model where they do use the poly caps for the joints. And another nice thing about this kit, it does come with a complete um, stand. And this looks like it is kind of a, a lot like the, uh, was it the Type 4, which is, or maybe it's the Type 6, that it has a little square piece that can stabilize things coming out a little bit more bulky. In fact, very similar to the one that was used for the uh, Master Grade Extreme Strike Freedom Gundam that I built just before this one. So that is the runners. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the manual. Let's just get those a little bit out of the way here. And the manual, like I said, it, it's basically the, the full color version of what was on the box cover. And this will give some information, but mostly it's just putting the putting the model together. There's not going to be any you know explanation of the mobile suit or anything like that, or its history or its pilots. So looking at this, it looks like everything except the poly caps are polystyrene. So you can use whatever paints. Or panel lining you want on these without having to worry about damaging the plastic. And of course, you wouldn't paint or use panel lining on the poly cap, so that doesn't really matter. And you've got your you know image of what the model will look like together, a few instructions on how to make sure things get together properly, and then it just goes right into the instructions on how to put it together. And it starts with the chest and then goes to the head and the arms, and it's going to work on the lower part. So, and then there is a, you know, a backpack, a neat shield, some weapons, looks like the main weapons are the, uh, there's claws and Pistols, it looks like, as opposed to rifles, and of course the beam sabers. And there's a few little effects. The, the, the mobile suit itself does not transform into a mobile armor, but there are certain things that'll transform to become effects and stuff like that. So, and then in the back here, it just shows that you can put very, the various striker packs on this model. It's all compatible. So, and on the back, it gives your color um, keys so you can mix your own colors if you wanted to paint it. Or, and also your um, decal mapping for the, uh, for the water slides to be put on there. So, well, that's it. It's a pretty straightforward kit. Not a whole lot to it. And, you know, a lot of pieces, but not a lot of complexity. So, looking forward to building this one. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching this video right to the end. 
If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.